Oh. Oof. Oh. Oh. So this next match is actually going to be the most improved NA player versus the most improved EU player. So that means young Pavelski is going to be coming up here. That's right. It's going to be Pavelski versus Hui. Welcome to Brawlhalla. Kui hailing from Canada. This is going to be a wild one. I'm ready. Oh. I'm so ready for this. Oh, now I think the main question we saw Pavelski play a little bit earlier against Viper. He wasn't able to get any of his crazy dodge reads and punishes with his Katars. Does he have the read on Kui? Right, because especially now, I mean that means this has to be in the loser side of bracket. Yup. So one of these two will be concluding their Brawlhalla Championship Series run right here. This makes or breaks one of their careers at this tournament. We'll see who's able to come out on top. Now, as you were mentioning, Pavelski, does he have the read on Akui? I don't know. Man, Akui is know. one of those like crazy unorthodox players. He just, he has a different way of approaching the game than most others. And that's kind of what led him to being the most improved this year is he's just identified an I alternate say. path. So it's tough for other players to adapt against him. And, and that's what I think also took him a little bit to kind of hit that stride too. Yeah. He decided he wanted to play the game in his own separate unorthodox style and just kind of honing that and tuning that to work in a way that works against the more common play styles in the game. Took him a little bit, but now he's here and he's up against, I mean, these are two prodigies going up against each other. Absolutely. So, of course, we got to make sure, get those buttons all checked. I, I do like the uh, how Kui is rocking his earbuds inside the headphones. Just so that way you get your own personal right. music, but you also get the game sounds coming in just behind. And, you know, I... I guess my, my heart rate's not going to get a break. <laughs> you know, that last set already... Man, it's, me pumping. we're boiling down towards top eight here for 1v1. There are no breaks. It's absolutely crazy. So do not leave your seat. I know you may be watching some other esports. Oh, you watch one match, they go to break. Oh, you watch another match, they go to break. But here on the Brawl Hall channel, it's when the we switch casters, we just do it. Everyone's we just, just chomping it. at the bit. They want that title. They want to be declared the best in the world and win the lion's share of that $100,000 that's on the line this weekend. It looks like it's going to be Lucian versus Diana with yep. the, the Valentine's Day colors. Love might be in the air a little bit early. Oh, yeah. Well, she's got the Cupid's bow. She's ready to shoot that straight into Pavelski's heart. But Pavelski Maybe charm him into a loss. <laughs> I, you know what? I got to say, the way he's wearing that yellow jacket, maybe. Yeah, we'll see uh, just how well Kui is able to flirt here as Pavelski goes in with the guitars that we're looking for. Will he have the reads this time around? Different player, but still one that's very unorthodox. We'll see how this match ends up going. Now, this is going to be kind of crazy. This is a map we don't see all too often. Oh, Kui finding the dodge out. It's small enigma. It's that tri-platform formation. But we've got two Blasters characters. They have an amazing vertical knockout option in that down light dash jump recovery. Oh my gosh! Pavelski following him up off the top. Perfect punish onto that recovery. That's the thing. The Blasters recovery, it can score knockouts extremely early, especially when done off of any of these platforms. But it does take a long time to finish. So Pavelski had the perfect follow up. And what I, oh no, oh no, oh my okay. god, if he had that conversion. Oh, that Jeez. could have been so bad for Kui. But Lucian doesn't usually kill that early. No. He was able to carry him all the way to the top of the screen and get a very early KO scenario oh, with that yeah. recovery. Uh -oh. And Pavelski. Another one? No. Kui just able oh. to tap oh. the bottom corner of the stage. No weapon throw. No dodge yet on Pavelski. Doesn't even need it. Gets back to the stage. Kui fighting back the unarmed neutral light. Beautiful. Ooh. Nobody goes for that anymore. Nobody goes for that anymore. Ever since that window was made just a little bit harder, everyone's just like, you know what? I'll go for Ooh. the daylight recovery. Man, that is some old school Qatar stuff. The down air into the midair slap. Get off my stage. 
still works, but they got to be at just the right damage range for it. Kui trying to box out Pavelski, but is a quite a decent chunk behind. And Pavelski trying to get those strings started. Another side Ooh, light. And here we go. Look That's at that. what we like to see from Pavelski as he tries to end it in convincing fashion. But oh, no. The slap, the sair on the recovery. Kui's back in this. Man, bringing it back. He does have quite the sizable damage lead to cut through. And Pavelski playing Lucian. He's got more defense than your uh -oh. average character. Oh, nice catch coming from Pavelski here with the neutral sig. Kui biding some time. Pavelski Whoa. threatening, going for an X pivot down there off the stage to try and cast uh, catch Kui sleeping, but still not going to oh, hit the Oh, gravity can't. No, he actually slide charged that signature, oh, turning it around. That was slick. So with the cheeky movement there, too, especially with the way that Lucian kind of moves with that side signature, it looks like he's going convincingly in one direction, yep. and then just zoop, he's right back. I mean, that was really great because the gravity cancel, you have to commit to it a little bit earlier, and you're kind of locked into that height. Right. When you're slide charging, you get to fall and choose, where do I want to release this thing? Oh, oh. Okay, Pavelski. <laughs> it's going to really uh, scrapping it out and taking Kui off stage once again and has to kind of go around Pavelski there. There's no other side of the stage to loop around to. So Kui playing this dangerous offstage game with the Blasters against Qatar is not something you see every day, but I guess Kui feeling comfortable. First down sig I think we've seen from Pavelski all, uh, all, all set, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, waiting until the very last moment to score that recovery. Pavelski getting threateningly close to getting knocked out. But now he's hunting for that knockout. He's got Ooh. Kui on the side, the bottom end of the slap, sending Kui down. Just the like very tail end of that hitbox, which is great placement of the Sayer from Pavelski. As once again, Kui off stage, playing a little bit with fire there, but Hey, maybe he has that like that red tunic from the Legend of Zelda series that makes him kind of be able to keep oh. up. Wait, got the recovery though. Yeah, you got to watch out. If you go for your recovery and it gets beat out during its startup, you'll see those orange stars appear, signifying, hey, you spent it. It is gone. And so is Pavelski. Not able to make it back. Kui tying it right up. There we go. Getting the right hit off stage to confirm the K on Pavelski. Pavelski now. Trying to see what he can get going in the second stock. Kui uh, just trying to make up the small damage differential they have between the two. And so far, doing a pretty decent job. This entire yeah. match has pretty much been on that left side of the stage. You know, people have their favorites. Yeah. They just like playing right here by this platform and a little bit off the sides. Ooh, even gets the chase into recovery on that one. Cool. Close one. Kowalski just mixing up the footwork on the bottom, not making it easy for Kui to know how he's going to try to cover the landing. Okay. Ooh. Again, those slide charge signatures. Pavelski using them to dictate where he wants to release. Oh, my goodness. Another downer tries to get two. Oh, Ooh. he's still keeping it going. Yo, Kui. Kui. The unorthodox just chasing all around with those unarmed attacks. Nice. Caught the dodge. And, and snipes course. him out of the magnifying glass. That's so good for Kui there because since he hit him out of the dodge, there was no way that Pavelski was going to get out of the way of that weapon toss. And Kui trying to get a quick one. Yo, danger zone. Got to watch out. Recovery hits. Kui is incredibly damaged, oh. but they were just too far oh. below the stage to score oh. the knockout. And oh. Kui really putting on the pressure here with the both side airs. That one's enough to do it. Pavelski tying it up before taking too much damage, but it is still a notable lead. Okay. Kui with blasters in hand once again tries to go down for neutral air, but instead getting caught in the grinder of Pavelski as he's just doing his absolute best to hold that center stage. Kui with the reversal with the down air now. One more. Great position. Oh. Pavelski having to find his way back down to stage, spending every single option. Uh-oh, it's blasters on blasters. Uh -oh, the we're down back air here again. scored. Pavelski having we're to find his way again. up. The That's dive the kick beating out the recovery. Kui taking the game, tying up the set. Man, that seems to be, I guess, both of their regions of comfort. That left side of the stage, just off the map in general, playing kind of that, you know, it's just high risk, high reward. If I can get the read right, yep. I can snipe the recovery, I can get a KO very quickly.
very satisfyingly, but the alternative is, of course, the same thing could happen to me. And it looks like they were very comfortable playing that. We'll see if it's a little bit different now. They're on a little bit of a bigger stage, yep. a little bit more base platform to work with, and, of course, that slow-moving platform as well. Yeah, Mammoth Forger is definitely one of the most stable stages in the game and one of the most Ooh. often picked. Pavelski going for that d like ground pound recovery, getting that little bit of extra damage. But Kui trying to hunt him down. Wait, is that oh going to KO? my it is gosh! A taste of his own medicine. Kui doing what Pavelski did in that game one on Enigma, killing him very early off the top. I just can't believe how comfortable both of these players are of just pursuing each other up off the top of the screen, hanging out there for so many seconds at a time. It really just feels like it doesn't even matter where on the stage they are. They're just going to keep kind of going in this vortex around yep. each other, trying to get those hits in. Oh, that was a perfect ooh, nair ooh, chance ooh. for Pavelski, but he does a jump nair instead, and he botches actually his recovery back to the stage. Man. That was just a big misplay, huge mistake by Pavelski. And this is game three. This is one of the most deciding matches of a game five set, you know? Like, if this ends up going there, it's uh -oh, all going to be uh -oh. in Kui's court. So many neutral airs juggling Pavelski up, giving up further lead to Kui. He's looking to just oh, run goodness. away with it. He's oh. got two of everything. Right, there we go, force him to the corner. What a catch with that recovery as well. Ooh, and the first down save we try to see come oh, out. Pavelski Wait. with Ooh. the big guitar strings. Kui having to spend the recovery late, wow, finding his way how? around. Pavelski, it, can he make it back? Just saved his jumps long enough. <laughs> All right, tying up the stocks, but the damage has been done. Oh my goodness, and mm. Kui just right from the Angel platform saying, hey, what's up? Are you awake yet? Hitting him with the D-Light. Jump, gravity cancel, neutral sig with the unarmed. Once again, one of the more unpopular unarmed KO options these days. People just don't go for it as much as they used to. As if that match wasn't fast enough already. We're going to oh, no. small brawl haven. The knockout lines are incredibly close to this stage. You're going to see people drop at way earlier damage ranges than usual. Okay, there we go. The first down air going to connect from Pavelski there, but Kui turning it around. And actually, I think he caught a dodge there, but I like that Pavelski decides to fastball Ooh. and then recover to the stage, but it doesn't matter. Man, wow! Kui just tearing off, going at it, getting the first knockout, not even 30 seconds in, continuing the momentum from the last game. Kui showing no signs of stopping Pavelski, maybe going for a second stair. No, a neutral air instead to try and mix up the edge guard. But Kui still making it back to the stage and getting even more damage. That X pivot neutral air being better than just a regular neutral air there because you saw Ooh. that the first bullet didn't hit. It's the turnaround that made the second hit, and Kui is not stopping Pavelski. Pavelski having to swap over to the blasters from the guitars. Oh, getting tagged again by Kui. Now, Blasters versus Guitars, they are like that mainly volatile matchup. Guitars, incredibly low range. Blasters, high range, but they have the dead zone. Pavelski getting inside the dead zone with that recovery. Kui looking for that D-Light once again. You already know what's cooking in his brain there, but he may not even need oh it. Oh my gosh! From down town Pavelski saying that he can make all the shots he's the clutch shooter you take off the bench in your last stock scenario I mean that's led to him having this full stock lead here we're back into the blasters mirror match looking for multiple juggling down airs they just want to bounce each other off the stage and go for broke with more damage Pavelski needing to make monumental shifts in order to bring this back Okay, almost enough. And wow, I love the gravity cancel. And this time, it yes! will most certainly be enough from Pavelski answering back the fire ignited in his soul as he's trying to make the comeback. Kui, who's had a pretty dominant just run this entire game. It's been hard. Wait. Uh-oh. We a bit off stage of a clash again. coming up. Pavelski really oh, needs. Oh. Yes, these guitar strings can lead to bring the damage back. Still a little bit further to go, but Kui is looking for the nice knockout. Catch. Gets it with the neutral signature off the back of that string. Kui taking it 3-1.